Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 170. Nasdaq's up 142. S&Ps are off 40. Our guest today, folks, is Veshnavi Moore. Veshnavi is the founder and CEO of Arch State. Arch State util utilizes AI programming in order to best fit applicants looking for jobs in the architectural or engineering field when the available jobs are open. So all our engineers out there, all you architects out there, whether you're looking for a job, whether you own those firms, it's a heads up. Veshnavi, welcome to TFNN. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. So, so tell us uh, about your company. And you, you definitely, uh, I mean, the executive recruiters must be going out of their mind because I looked at your pricing out here and, you know, executive recruiters make quite a bit of money. But first, first of all, tell us, tell us about your company and tell us who it helps and how it helps them. Yeah, so I am the founder and CEO at Artslate. Artslate is an AI-based platform that is bringing the power of one click to hiring for the architecture, engineering, and construction industry. Okay. Uh, so basically, when you think about unemployment or there being a talent shortage, the root cause of it all is that we don't have the infrastructure to make a hiring decision within a couple of hours. That's what we do. Traditionally, it takes like, you know, up to 52 days to make a single hiring decision. And through our platform, you can end up hiring a candidate within a matter of three hours. So, you know, that's a lot of jobs created and, uh, and the employers on the other side get the right talent for their firm uh, and are re ready to begin uh, roll out the construction. Um, and, and yeah. I guess in your business, too, I mean, the engineers and architects, they can work for almost anywhere, right? I mean, I'm sure some of them, they want them in the office, but, I mean, that definitely is a type of job that you just, you know, you're hiring knowledge, right? Uh, that's what the market is trending towards, you know, especially with the pandemic. Uh, the way we work has changed. You know, people are more adaptable to new innovation. People are adaptable to new technologies, and people are open-minded now. So you can basically work uh, from anywhere, virtually or remote, and still get your productivity and construction done. And where do you see the most amount of demand in the country right now? Is there is there certain sections of the country that are doing better than other sections? Yes, that's exactly where we are. Uh, Florida is one of the fastest growing states in the nation. And Tampa slash St. Pete, there's so much architecture, construction, buildings, housing going on. So this uh, area is definitely booming where we are located right now. Well, I'm so glad you moved from California to Tampa. <laughs> and you know, it's yeah. pretty wild. I'm actually a builder. And I, my architect this morning, I had, this is, this is, you know, real life folks, okay? The bottom line, Zoom works. Whether you're, you're looking at the buildings, whether you start moving stuff around. Um, I had an hour meeting with them this morning. It was just really interesting then, I mean, that you were on today because there's no doubt that, you know, I don't need a face-to-face, -face, you know, because most of the time we've been all doing this a long time. You know what you're looking for. So that, that's pretty cool. And talk to me about you know, the, the pricing structure you have is really inexpensive. I mean, this is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, I hire enough people, um, you know, to, to hire a high-end engineer or architect with we're talking only like three or four hundred bucks you know that's what it looks like right in order to basically be part of your system exactly so that's what is a differentiator um what makes us different is we benefit both sides of the marketplace that is we benefit the employers as well as the employees uh in a traditional recruiting if you're recruiting an architect slash engineer for a hundred thousand uh, a recruiter would charge the company 25%, which means 25,000 in his pocket. And that salary comes off from your hardworking employees. So your employee would end up getting just 75,000, uh, which, uh, you know, when he deserves a lot more. Uh, that's where we come into the picture where we say, you know, hey, stop, you got to, you don't need to do that. We are there to help both the sides, creating a transparent, streamlined marketplace. And the reason that we are able to do that, because we have created a process that's automated using AI. So we are not ending up using any manual uh, slash labor into the process. That's what allows us to be economical for both the sides. 
Now, do let's say if I was an architect and, and I'm coming on there and I want someone to hire me, what do I just put up my, my whole resume inside of there, everything else that I thought is pertinent in order to get a job, and that's what the employer is seeing on the other side? Yes, so we have everything uh, to help you as a fresh candidate. You can just come here, upload your resume. We also have a portfolio feature where, you know, you can just drag and drop your images. We convert it to a beautiful portfolio. And our whole goal is to show the best sides of you to an employer. So once we have your details in there, we the system will automatically match you to the deserving opportunities that you have in. And, you know, it will prompt you to apply to those. The system will screen you, and you can receive an offer within 24 hours. Now, you also have on here what I thought was really cool, particularly in the architectural firms, because I'm more familiar with that than the engineering firms. There are 40,000 architectural firms in the U.S. Only 11% are known. Make your firm count. I, and I, there's no doubt about that. I mean, there's, there's many firms that, you know, are small but are dynamic firms, right? Exactly. That's what our goal is. You know, um, in the U.S. alone, people just know the top 25 or 30 firms, but there are actually 40,000 architecture firms and 700,000 architecture engineering construction firms, which are doing great work off the radar and people don't know them. Uh, and, you know, that's where we come in to diversify the workforce innovation platform, diversify the companies that are there on the platform. Uh, and create an identity for the firms that are working off the radar. And that's pretty cool because, you know, most folks, I mean, unless you're a very large builder, I mean, you don't want a large architectural firm, right? I mean, because they're just, you're just not set up for it. In fact, you couldn't, you couldn't afford it. <laughs> that's what it really comes exactly. down to. Yeah, right. Pretty cool. So let's talk about the engineering aspect. Now, when we're talking engineering, we're talking about, like, engineering, software engineering, construction engineering, uh, what are we talking on the engineering front? So we are talking everything in the building industry. So we are talking nice. about site engineers. We yep. are talking about civil engineers. We are talking about site supervisors, general contractors, everything that's related with the building slash infrastructure industry. So because architecture, engineering, construction cannot function without each other. They are all interdependent. Yeah, oh, there's no doubt. I mean... Yeah, engineers are really important. Where's that water runoff? <laughs> I'm telling yeah. you, I know. Well, listen, this has been a pleasure. We really appreciate you coming on, appreciate the education. We're so happy you're in uh, Tampa St. Pete. Uh, and the site, folks, is archslate.com. It's A-R-C-H-S-L-A-T-E. Uh, listen, we really appreciate it. You have a great weekend, safe weekend. Of course, we look forward to having you on again. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Appreciate it. Bye. That's where we're going, folks. The bottom line is that, uh, you know, she's, I'm sure there's, there's probably a few other firms like this, but you talk about a destruction of uh, uh, one business for another. Uh, it's a lot easier paying $350 per month versus 25% uh, of the pay. There's no two ways about that. Dow Industrials right now down 186. You get the Nasdaq off 149. S&Ps are off 43. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.